very good afternoon to everybody. So at Semusi, uh, which is the name of the company, it stands for understanding, learning, intent. And that's exactly what we basically make our platform to be able to provide you with a complete end-to-end -end app lifecycle management to be able to track your consumers right from install to engagement to uninstall all on a single platform itself. What are the core challenges that are there in the industry today which we are looking at solving through this particular problem? First on acquisition, you need to have a separate SDK which is provided by either the ad networks or the attribution engines to be able to measure how many installs have happened from where. The next is you have a separate engagement SDK which is there which allows you to do your push notifications, in-app notifications or other, other pieces. If you have to do context machine learning to be able to determine the interest, you don't have that, you have a separate SDK for that. For uninstalls, people are still looking at providing a solution for that particular piece. And while to put all of these, these are all still creating data silos because your analytics data is going to be with the analytics dashboard, your engagement data is going to be on a separate dashboard. You cannot actually bridge the entire gap to be able to determine that these 500 users which I have acquired in the last one week, if 200 have uninstalled after three weeks, what was my profitability of those customers end to end? That is the problem that we are looking at solving as part of the solution that we provide as AppEyes. Uh, the market opportunity based on certain numbers uh, is about to raise to almost about 120 billion in the next 10 years time because everybody is looking at increasing the amount of spend on marketing technology from just a meager 1% which is there today what marketers are spending to about 10% because of a multitude of reasons to be able to bring in personalization and increase engagement so that transactions can actually happen. I'm going to hand it over now to Tarun who is our CTO and uh, he's going to be taking you through what exactly the platform does for us. Yeah, thanks Ravi and uh, as Ravi explained, you know, we are looking at uh, how you have created, if you are running an app or a business around app, uh, using an app, you will create data silos and you have created them probably fairly quickly if you have got an audience of any size. So you have done something for acquisition, something for retention, something for engagement, yada, yada, yada. So what we do is we help you bridge those various silos, A. So if you are doing acquisition, then you know you come in through a CPI channel, you understand what's their cost of customer acquisition. You use some analytics tool and you incentivize, motivate people and in between sits our engine which is a real-time engine which basically bridges all these four pieces. And uh, obviously, you know, one of the key things which we do is we also, since we have a bird's eye view of all the things that are happening in the system, we can help detect uh, probably inefficient spends in the system, we can detect frauds and we can also understand the user behavior much better. So these are the three key things that we do as part of a system. So let's assume that you are able to get a bird's eye view of the system. You are able to understand, okay, this is how my user came in. I acquired him through this channel. I went uh, to, uh, you know, I retained him through this means and then, you know, this is how or why he uninstalled. Uh, but what happens then is that you use context. You understand the user's journey. You understand the user's behavior and you understand the user's interests and you can then target him with more personalized uh, messaging which is what we intend to do next and this is what we uh, what we mean by context is who what where and when so when a user is doing who what at a certain place where and when you can target him with a very personalized message instead of just doing you know things like lbs and other things which are prevalent in the market today which won't probably work uh, because of various reasons Uh, we are actually doing a pre-launch of our product which we are releasing today itself and this is the dashboard where it shows you that where you got your installs, on what platforms, where are the uninstalls happening, what are the reasons for uninstall, what are my retention rates out of that, um, what's the percentage of my engagement, all in a single place, not having to look at multiple different dashboards for different sets of data. This is the team, uh, all the three co-founders, we are all ex-Microsoft, uh, have spent enough time in the industry, know exactly what the problem is, have spoken to multiple app owners uh, over the last two to three months to be able to understand what the problems are and have looked at building this particular solution out. 
Uh, at the current status, we are bootstrapped. Uh, whether we are looking for funding, yes. Uh, we have three customers in beta who are already working with us on uh, building this particular entire platform. They've already deployed that. And our pricing model will be subscription based, based on monthly active users and the kind of features that they actually adopt from the entire platform. Very interesting uh, uh, model you guys have. Um, how do you guys integrate with uh, the app publishers the, or the developers? Uh, they use our SDK in, in their app to be able to get all of this particular information. And what would they be using currently for getting these kinds of data? Is it ad networks? Is it Google Analytics? So they would be using multiple different tools for all of the various different things. So they would be using something like a Flurry or a G or a Mixed Panel to get analytics data. They would be using AppSolar or AppsFlyer or Matt to get install attribution measurement data. They would be using a separate SDK uh, like an Urban Airship to push out push notifications and stuff like that. Uh, for uninstalled, there are some new solutions which are coming up, but not yet mainstream, but a uh, couple of solutions like uh, beta glide or uninstall.io who are just solving one problem, which they tell you about just uninstall. Whereas you can't know that these 500 users which are acquired at $3 CPI and I am lost, losing them in five days, what's my overall cost and loss? Excellent.